Do you know what this is? It's a box, a box from Beatronics. And you know what comes inside of boxes from Beatronics, don't you? Fuzzes, that's right, there are fuzzes in this box. But there's also an odor I detect. It smells like the sea, it smells like low tide. It smells like tuna. I know the surprise has already been spoiled. <laughs> because of the title and the thumbnail. I know, I know, I know, I can't keep a secret from any of you, but this is pretty fun. What we have inside this box full of fuzzes is a pair of tuna fuzzes from Beatronics. That's right, they're fuzz pedals inside of tuna cans because why not, right? <laughs> Actually, what's going on here is that this is a bit of an homage from Beatronics, looking back at their history, paying tribute to their humble beginnings when they were building pedals inside of tuna cans. And that's what we have here. It's a real tuna can, guys. <laughs> Let's see what the paperwork says. Hook the ultimate guitar tone with the tuna fuzz. Housed in an iconic tuna can, this pedal delivers stinking good sounds inspired by vintage fuzz boxes. The stinker control adjusts the master volume, ensuring your tone stands out like a bee in a tuna can. Inside, discover a beautiful tuna bee-shaped PCB, a hallmark of Beatronics design, visible through their transparent back cover. The perfect pedal for anyone seeking a wild-caught, fuzzy flavor. And yeah! We've got like a rubber lid on the bottom of this thing. So if you eat half your fuzz now and you want to save the other half for later, like as a snack or something like that, you just put the lid back on and you throw it in the fridge. Let's take a look though. There it is. We got a really cool tuna bee print on this PCB. Beatronics loves doing their custom PCBs. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember how to say words in this video. But yeah, you crack open any Beatronics pedal and there's bound to be a treat in there, a visual treat. So anyways, this is dead simple. It says, the incredible tuna fuzz. Seasoned with tone, <laughs> of course it is. Very rich in flavor, try them, it says. Very simple, we've got a volume knob on the side, a foot switch, with the Beatronics nut down there. They like to use these fancy nuts on their pedals. And an LED, and a, it is a legitimate tuna can. This isn't a pedal case themed in the style of a tuna can. It is a tuna can. Like, that's the real deal. It's a novelty, but it's a fun novelty. And I'm, I, <laughs> I think it's really fun. Beatronics is always doing fun stuff with their cases. Ah, they're the best at that. So anyways, I got two of these things. I'm gonna give one away with the link down below, but I'm also gonna run through these stereo at some point in the video. So might as well get the other one out and then I'll plug them in and we'll see what they sound like. I'm gonna be using my Fender Jag Sting with the wackiest wiggle stick on the planet and it is loaded with a humbucker in a single coil giving me a lot to work with here and of course i'm going to be running into the two princeton's rig <sighs> all right let's get started here is my dry tone from the bridge humbucker of the jag sting and here is the tuna fuzz. The volume is all the way down.
It's got some sag on it. That's gnarly. That's for a fuzz pedal with only one knob. It sounds great. It sounds like it doesn't need any tone adjustment. The volume's right there. I'm sure I can clean it up with the volume control on the guitar. I know that sounds crazy. No one's ever done it before. Never in a guitar YouTube video has anyone ever cleaned up a fuzz with a volume control, but I'm saying that I think it's possible. We'll try it in a little bit. Stay tuned. But yeah, that sounds great. Exactly what I expect from Beatronics. Like just fat, thick, nasty, ripping fuzzes in tuna cans, apparently. <laughs> Let's do that crazy thing that I pitched just a moment ago. I'm gonna try rolling back the volume of the guitar to see if this pedal will clean up. Back a little more. It's doing it. It's cleaning up, guys. anymore the answer is kind of maybe there's a little signal left there it's murky but it's got some grit to it let's do a little riff and work our way back up the volume control different pickup settings now it's sounds like a fuzz to me that's gnarly all right that has been the bridge pickup here is the neck Get your volume knob, it cleans up with your playing dynamics. That ain't bad. Try 
try it with both pickups on. And then let's have some real fun and put it into out of phase mode. Just check in on my camera real quick. There is important behind the scenes stuff going on up there. You don't need to know about that. Anyways, out of phase sounds through the tuna fuzz. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do some high fretted stuff on the neck pickup. Am I getting too wacky with the wiggle stick? Please tell me now. Please tell me I can get wackier. I, I need your permission. All right, let's move on to something lower. You want to get low? Hey, 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 like getting baritone? I grabbed the wrong guitar <laughs> for that little song lyric pun there. I got the bass six now. Let's see how it handles some low end. Am I plugged in or what? Because of course I did. Because that's the whole theme of the video, isn't it? Tunas. Ah, oh, ridiculous, Ryan. So anyways, here is the dry tone of the bass six. That's been the bridge. Here's the number two. And let's throw the number four in there just to be safe. That sounds different, doesn't it? You know what, here's just the neck. And I've got a strangle on here. This might get fun. All right, we'll start with the number two. Here we go. It's tuna fuzz time with the basics. We're going deep sea fishing.
those of you who are aficionados of fine vintage television jingles will appreciate that little riff right there. Too bad I didn't play it on guitar. Maybe I'll do that closer to the end of the video when I do it in stereo. That's coming. I'm going to do it in stereo, guys. But this is fun. <laughs> Try it on the neck pickup. Let's turn it down a little bit so I don't uh, push the low end on the recorder. those spooky sounds with the reverb, but there's some fun stuff going on with all the switching. Okay, nut pickup, no strangle. Bridge pickup, no strangle. Bridge pickup with strangle. Nut pickup with strangle. Go back to that number four position. That number four position is doing something special. It sounds sweet and squishy. now. That's why I got two of them, right? Not just to give one away. I mean, that's fun, but I mean, come on. We're here for the stereo fuzz, right? All right, back to the Jag Stang. Let's start with them both turned down. Stereo fuzz goosebumps. I tried to turn on some reverb and delay and 
I realized I'm going straight into the amps now. Let's throw some reverb on the black, for instance. <laughs> apart but the point is i was having fun i was having a lot of fun are you having fun do you like these pedals do you want to win one one of these very pedals i'm holding right now possibly even this exact one all you got to do is click the link in the description you've done this before it's a hoop jumpers club link go in there and you can jump the hoops i won't have a lot i'll have a link to btronics and the guitars i used and that's probably about it. I don't need to pad this one out. I just want you to enter to win one of these things. I know you're going to get it. I can tell you're lucky. I'm looking right at the winner right now. If you don't win, then I wasn't looking at you. I was looking at the winner. Okay, but I do hope you win. I hope you're the one. So anyways, huge thanks to Beatronics for sending this out to me. I think they're super fun. There's obviously a novelty element here with very simple fuzz circuits being built into tuna cans <laughs> to pay homage, tribute to Beatronics' humble beginnings. I think it's a super fun thing to do. And they're affordable too, 99 bucks for a can of tuna fuzz. <laughs> that might be more expensive than an actual can of tuna, but is it more expensive than a fuzz? Most of the time, yes, it is cheaper. Most of the time, no, it's not more expensive than a foot. I've confused myself. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude, nasty comment, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked, and stay grounded. Bye, everybody.